Awesome. So we just posted it on the business page. And, and as we're doing this, we, we obviously want to read it over and over and over just to make sure there's no grammar errors or a period missing or whatever. Because once we go and set up the ad, then um, you can't change anything anymore. So everything looks good. We're doing a lot of thinking and planning on how I can better serve my clients. Many previous clients have had a lot of questions regarding the selling process, just like Amanda did. My hope is to have you better prepared when you're ready to sell because a prepared seller is a successful seller. I put together a thorough seller's guide that's packed with very useful information. If you're considering selling, you'll absolutely want to read this seller's guide now. Perfect. Get your free copy by clicking learn more. That is freaking perfect, Nikki. That's perfect. That's perfect. So now let's open up another tab and go to the ads manager. So now this, this, now there's just a, a, a couple more things that we'll click on as we retarget. So as we set up this next one, and then on these, on these previous ones that have already completed, just shade, get in the habit of shading the blue to gray. And, and it's on these three tabs, campaign, ad set, ad. These are your three levels, the three tabs. So each one has its own blue dot. So shade that blue dot to gray and then click on the middle tab and shade that one to gray. This one? Yep. Shade that to gray and then click on the middle tab. Add sets for one campaign. No, the, oh, this one. Yeah, that these are your three tabs. So shade that one to gray and then do it to the third one. Perfect. Even though they're, they've completed, they're off, they're not spending any more money. It's still great to color coordinate your, your, your stuff. Cause as you start to have a ton of them running, like a ton of them um, listed here, you'll want to look and just be able to glance and know, okay, that one's off. It's great. This one's on, it's blue. Okay. Right. But if you have everything blue, you're going to have to look into it and really make sure it's off. Um, so yeah, just get in the habit. So now you can just uncheck the box to the left of each one, or just click the blue at the top. One selected, one selected, one selected, X, 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 just X all of them out at the top, or you can X up the box. Okay. Yeah. You can totally just X them out there. So X up that one, X up that one, X up that one, and then come back to the first campaign tab. Perfect. And then hit the green one. Awesome. So now let's start this next one and we're going conversions. And then down here, let's name, let's get in the habit of naming everything here. So once you click on conversions, click on that right there, that drop down. Now these are the three steps, the three tabs. These are the three levels that we're going to go through. So just get in the habit of naming it here is, is, is good too. So the first, the first ad you put, I can see in the background, you put first seller guide ad. This could be second, you know, second seller guide ad. Um, and then, and then in parentheses, in parentheses, you'll want to put conversions. So in parentheses is the actual objective. So the actual objective is conversions. So second seller guide ad conversions, the ad set, go ahead and, and put in the town that we're targeting and, and whatever we target the, targeted the first time, whichever area, stick with that area. That is your farm. That's where we're going to continue to penetrate that, that area. Sometimes people end up switching it out. And that's cool if you if that's cool switching it out, target one city over here, target maybe another city on the other end. You yeah. could for sure play around with it. But in the very beginning, like I totally recommend sticking to one area. If if Port Nietzsche's, if that's the area, that's the area. Like we're gonna, we're gonna run five, six, seven ads to begin with to that area first. So the ad set, that could be the name. And then and then what I also want you to put um in the ad set title next to Port Nietzsche's, put um, in parentheses, retargeting, retargeting, because now we're going to, we're going to retarget. Now those first, those, those, those other two audience, those two audience, audiences that we're going to actually retarget, they're not the biggest, but it, it, it's, it's the beginning. So we're still retargeting. So the ad, the third title, just put, um, put, put, put what type of image it was. So you and Amanda or you and the actual person's name and no one sees this part so you can actually put the real name if you want but I would I would I would definitely name that image because if you just put the word image you're not going to really really know what image that was so me and Krista perfect and then in parentheses image because who knows if that was a video right oh you know for sure but just speaking in general image try to be as, de as detailed as possible on these titles cool perfect so that's perfect so hit continue so that's step one. And then, and then as we come over to, um, as we hit continue, then over here, which is still part of step one, is we're choosing the category. So you're always going with housing. So hit the drop down special ad category. You're going to always go with housing. And then you hit next. That's it. So 
that's step one. Okay. So now we come to step two where website that should by default, that blue dot should be there on website. And then you scroll down, you have your pixel. So that's the right pixel. And then we have our conversion event. That's the link to your thank you page, seller guide leads, right? You see that the conversion event scroll up. Yeah. So, so sometimes, sometimes that's a conversion event. So that's your custom conversion. So sometimes that's not there. And if, and if it's not there, then you'll just click and, and find it in the drop down. So go ahead and exit out. Just imagine it not there. Yeah, exit out. And so sometimes you'll come over here and it's, and it's like that. And then you'll just have to scroll down and find, find that custom conversion. Okay. So, so that's that. And then now we come down to the, to the budget. So we'll go lifetime budget and just, just let this one run for the next 14 days. So do that same 200 and then just there's your 400 for the month. Um, and so, so um, now it comes down to, yeah. So either 250 or two, I would go, was it 200, 200 or what, what did you decide on? I did 200 last time. Yeah. So do you want to do your, I was going to say, let's do 250 this time. Is that okay? Yeah, that's probably perfect. But what, what I want you to do is really stay on, 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 on the number. So if it's 250, then it's 250 from this point on. Like if it, if it, if it's too, like, I just want you to, I just want you to have a, a, just a budget and just, and, and, and just, and just work with that number rather than fluctuating every month. Um, so it's totally up to you. Totally up to you. 250 is good for sure. 250 is good. But I would stick with that number if, if that's the number now, you know what I mean? So. Yeah. I mean, for me, it just, it really just depends on what my account looks like. Oh, huh, right. Right. Yeah. So I get it. I get it. So if leave I'm it not to busy, you. then it's that number might have to fluctuate. I don't know. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So let's leave it at that. So start date always the next day at 6 AM. Actually you got Eastern time here. So let's do, let's do, um, let's do, let's do tomorrow. Do, um, do 7 AM, 7 AM. It's always going to be 7 AM based on this Eastern time, um, time zone. So always 7 AM, which is, which is 6 AM your time. Perfect. And then, and then, yeah, stretch it out 14 days. And so let's plan on talking 13 days from, from now. So let's, let's definitely try to actually, well, I can schedule it now on my end. We'll, we'll chat on the 13th before this one ends. Um, and, and it's really to, to look at it, to see if, if, if we should leave it on, if we should extend the end date, because maybe, maybe, maybe we have 20 something leads at that point. Right. So yeah. That would be good to keep on and, and let it let it continue to run. Um, or sometimes we'll have to shut it off. So, but let's definitely talk on the 13th. Okay, so scroll down. So that was that. So now what we want to do is right here. So this is where we start to start to put in our audiences. So oh, did I do this right? Um yeah, yeah, that's that's right. We go to the 15th. Actually, yeah, we'll talk on the 14th. So we'll talk on the 14th. So yeah, that's perfect. Okay, cool. So now the locations hover over the United States, change that out, put in your Port Nietzsche's, and then we're going to also put in these custom audiences. So hit edit, right? United States, right where you see United, just edit to the right. Oh, I'm right on it. <laughs> X out of the United States at the bottom, the green little thing, X that out, and then, and then go ahead and type in port Nietzsche's and then yeah type that yeah hit that drop down for sure but go ahead and type it in and then you'll hit that drop down and then always go always go with the drop down yeah so whenever you see the drop down don't <clears throat> type something in and just expect it to just stay always look for the drop down so there's that and on our previous ad was it was it exactly 15 miles is that what I we want to say we did 20 okay so put 20 then put 20 and and just stick with this stick with this okay so that that and and that's one that's one thing you'll want to put in the title so now let's scroll back up let's scroll back up yeah put 20 hit enter yeah type in 20 and then hit hit enter okay so now scroll all the way up that's something you'll want to put in the title so we have port Nietzsche's and then put 20, 20. You could put it to the left. The retargeting is to the right. So let's do it to the left. Just port Nietzsche's 20 miles. Port Nietzsche's 20 MI. Perfect. Perfect. There's your title. Okay, cool. So now, now we'll, um, we'll go back. 
yeah, actually, we're, we're good right here. So actually, did you hit the drop down right above Port Nietzsche's 20 miles? Yeah, so people live in it. Yeah, let's change that out. So we're, 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 and if you read all of them, they're all, you know, fairly different. So we always want to go with people living in this location. Now, people, people traveling, I mean, yeah, you can go from city to city for sure. So it's really up to you. Like, look at them, look at all of them again, hit the drop down because people work on the other side of town, right? So people do travel that actually live in that area. Watch, hit the drop down, people living in this location. So people living in or recently in, you know, people recently in, people traveling in, you could, you could go with either the top two. So either of the top two, people living in or recently in this location or, or just people living in this location. But um, go with that one. Go with the second one. That's fine. Go with that one. That's the one you'll always want to go with. So, so scroll down. Now we have our custom audiences. So right below the map, you'll see the custom audiences right there. So if you click, you'll see the ones that you've previously set up. So right here, you have page you have page visitors um and then also all yeah so we have paid we're gonna actually use all three of them now that i really think about it so here we're targeting page visitors only so click on that one and then we're gonna also add the third one so do it again we're gonna also add the third one people who engaged with the poster ad so so those who have clicked like on it those may who that have commented or whatever that's that audience, that second audience. So now click out, click away. Okay, so so now what we also wanna do since we've captured leads on the first ad, now it's time to exclude that audience. So you'll click exclude. And, and what we're doing here is we're excluding the leads, seller guide leads, even though it's just a few, we still need to exclude them. That's that. So, so moving, moving forward from this point on, ad number three, you know, a couple of weeks from now, this is the blueprint. We're just retargeting those audiences and then we're excluding the leads. That's it, right? So, is so- this, Is this only going to target those people? No, you, it's going to target Port Nietzsche's 20 miles as well. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure like how that worked. Yeah, for sure. So- if you did not put Port Nietzsche's 20 miles, then you would only retarget these. But these audiences are not the biggest. So you, you don't want to do it that way. You don't want to, you know, completely take out the city and only focus on those. Yeah. Some people that have huge audiences, like huge audiences, like some of my clients that put out video and they have thousands of views on these damn videos. Those are audiences that you can own, that you can retarget and, and only retarget those. Um, and you don't have to put in the city. But yeah, here we're just getting started. So yeah, we're putting everything, the custom audiences and and the, the city 20 miles. So that's it right there. Include, exclude. So scroll down and then now, um, so click away. So now we have automatic placement. We have manual placement. We're going to go with manual placement. Um, we want to make sure that every penny is going to the news feed. Um, we don't want Facebook to spread our money thin. So we want to uncheck a ton of these. So we're going to uncheck Instagram. We're going to uncheck Messenger. We're going to uncheck Audience Network. And, 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 and in the future, in the future, you'll want to run ads on Instagram for sure. But that's when you come over here and uncheck everything and just leave Instagram. And then also uncheck everything below and only go Instagram feed. So okay. for those that want to run an Instagram ad, do it completely separate. Don't do it. Don't check it all right here and run it all together. Run okay. them separate. Um, that way you can really track the analytics much, 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 much easier because it's only an inch Instagram ad versus, you know, all this crap checked. Yeah. Cause you so, don't know where. Yeah. Yeah. It'll, it'll break down where, but at the same time, it's, it's too much data where I want to just look at, look at one, one spreadsheet and know it's just the Instagram ad rather than all this stuff cluttered and seeing all these different metrics. Um, so uncheck everything here. So uncheck, we're going to only leave the marketplace and the newsfeed. Uncheck everything else. Yeah, perfect. From there down. Okay, perfect. So all that, all that. Okay, good. All this? Yep, all of it. OK. 
Okay. Okay, there. cool. So we got all that. Okay, good. So we're good. So now scroll down, scroll down. Now we're going next. So you can click on show more options, but there's there's nothing else there to, to click on. Go, but you go ahead and click on it so you can see it. Show more options at the bottom. Well, okay. yeah, either one of them. Go, go both of them, actually. So here, you don't need any of this stuff. Um, and then at the top, show more options at the top. So you don't need you don't need any of these right here. Actually, let me just explain this part, though. So here you can target specific mobile devices and operating systems. So I can target all mobile phones or I can target just people on Android or only when connected to Wi-Fi. I can connect. I can only target people on their cell phone when they're on a Wi-Fi. Right. So it's like you can get super gran granular with it, but just leave it all. Leave it all. That's that's fine. So hit next. OK, cool. So we're good here. So now that's the that's the second step. Now this is the third and final step. So here we always want to make sure that the Facebook business page is yours, which it is. And then we don't need the Instagram placement. We're not running on IG right now. So we don't need that. And then the ad setup. Hit that really? drop down. No, leave all that. Hit that drop down. Yeah. And then we're going to use existing post. And then you select the post. And then you find that post, which is that one right there. So now we hit continue. So what, so now that we've, we've selected it, again, we can no longer change the text. Is it that's selected? Why, yeah, it's selected. Yeah, so hit continue. So that's why you always want to make sure when you post it on the business page, look at it 15 times if needed as far as the text to make sure there's, it's perfect because okay. now we can no longer change it. So now we're going to add a button. And now we'll go to our Kartra page and, and grab the entire link for the opt-in page, and that goes there. Uh, Opt-in so page is my pages, yeah, my no my page is to the left, and then just look for that opt-in page, and then just grab, click the three dots, and then go to get code or link. Okay, perfect. So get the page link, and then there copy the entire thing. Perfect. Awesome. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna paste that in. We're gonna update post. We're going to make sure that the pixel is is green over here, which it is. So if we scroll down website events under the tracking, there goes there goes that um, that pixel. And then also that's can you go down any 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 further? Is that it? That's OK, it. cool. So you're good. OK, perfect. So now we'll hit publish. And that is it. So once you hit publish, then you can you can take a look at what it looks like in the newsfeed, and when it gets stuck like this, yeah, it, this tends to happen often. So if you see it stuck like that in the blue, publishing one of three, just open up another tab, go to um, yeah, go to any of these other tabs, just go back to go to another tab and go back to your ads manager, and then yeah, any any of these tabs. So bookmarks ads manager, and then you'll just push it through from over there. And then once you push it through over here, then you can close out that tab to the very right, 24%. So here you'll just hit the blue one and then um, you'll click on the green one. So click that blue button and then you'll see the green one publish. And then this will push it through and then close out that other tab. So the one to the very right, yeah, close out that one. So here on this new tab, so yeah, go back to the other one. So here, there it is. So it's scheduled. So now check on check the, check the box to the left of it of the blue dot. Don't yeah. There we go. And then click on the third tab. Ads for one campaign. So here you can just under the title, you can click on um, edit. So right below the title, me and Krista, click on um, edit, and then you can just take a look at it real quick in the newsfeed. So hit that share drop down in the top right. Share. And then you can go down to desktop newsfeed, Facebook desktop newsfeed. And this will give you a, a, a glimpse of what it looks like. So as it goes live, we'll see it in the newsfeed. So scroll down. It's normally below Jessica, below the second one. Bam, there it is there. And see, so cropping it, cropping it would have been good too. But but again, I I tend to like stuff like that when it's just, it's a raw image. Like we didn't even edit it. Like it's, it's totally like, it looks like it's just a normal friend, right? Like, 
Like, look, I'm a real person. It looks like you're a real person. Like that's what these raw images bring and that's social media, you know? So the more you can blend in the newsfeed, then, then the more, the more you, people just gravitate. So this is perfect. This is super perfect. Um, click on learn more, test the button, make sure it goes to your landing page and then, um, and you're good. So go back to the ads manager real quick. When you're from this point on, when you're, when you're, when you're in here, yeah, you can, you can X the top left, click that X, just close out this one and then just click the blue one selected, one selected X those out. So, so now that we have the custom columns set up, you can always view it in, in that view. So right there above bit strategy, you have columns performance, click on that drop down, right, right to the right middle, right. You got columns performance. Uh -huh. Yeah, click on that. And we have our custom column. So if you scroll down, this is what we set up last time, scroll all the way down and you named it seller guide campaign. So as you click on that, then it gives you the view of, of your custom, your custom column, seller guide leads, seller guide leads, conversion value, and cost per seller guide, seller guide lead. So I don't know why that seven didn't update. What, how many leads came in? 10? I saw it on the cartridge side. Was it 10? Nine. So maybe it's Nine. seven plus two. Is that what that little two is? That could that could be that what that little two is. So yeah, so nine, so nine off of that one. Um, I just think the numbers are are. I don't think that that cost per lead updated just yet, but but that's fine. So that first one or that first one's there, and then that second one's ready to go. So you'll it'll be processing, and then the next few hours you'll get an email from Facebook saying that your ad is your ad is is scheduled or running. And that means it's approved. And then it'll start tomorrow morning. It'll start tomorrow morning. Yes. Yes. So let that one run. Let's chat on the 14th. Just let me know your best time. Look at your calendar and, and let me know the best time on the 14th. And then I'll schedule it on my end. Okay. Go from there. Sounds good. And, and what you want to do too is, is, is put aside like a half an hour or an hour a week and, and add to that sequence. Don't let just those emails there. Just don't let that just be what's there. Like go into the sequence, watch, go to your cart real quick, click on my communications to the left or close this part out and then my communications and then the sequence. So my communications and then, and then yeah, communications at the top and sequences. So this seller guide leads, hit the pencil. How many Somebody, emails are there? Somebody's knocking on my door. Hang on one second. Okay. My uncle just likes to pop up without any warning. <laughs> right i know don't you love those ones uh, so to the very right hit that pencil on the seller guide one so here you have you have you know what we set up in the beginning which is which is a few a few good ones right just to begin but from this i've corner, added a few okay good good so then we got one two real estate three four five six seven you have like eight, eight yeah, yeah perfect. perfect so so again half an hour a week one hour a week, add more, just add more, keep adding more to the bottom, add another three, you know, this week and next week, add another three, right? Until that thing is freaking forever. Like you want this thing to go on forever. Okay. Okay. So that, that's one thing you want to, you want to, you want to for sure put into your weekly schedule. Oh, I've set them up on both of these two. Listing link sequence by our guide. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. 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 So Shoot me a message later on. Look at your calendar for the 14th and just let me know your best time. And then we'll go from there. Okay. Cool. All right, Nikki. I'll be a message away from anything. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Bye.